students with while studying they had pressure peer pressure where we found that uh, in a class of 50 or 60 there were just five or six students who were really at the top and rest of the students we are just like me I, a, I was an average student most of us are like that so uh, we really need to have something with us so that we can achieve something in our life we have some career path so it is very much important for us just to not score but also to be to build our interpersonal skills, to our, uh, build our communication skills, to be extrovert, which I was not. So all these things that are really much more important, that we find that the toppers, they really lack. Because they are too much engrossed with their studies and uh, like getting good scores and being teachers' favorites, that uh, they really don't grow on their interpersonal skills. For me, that had been the triggering point. We found that our uh, son, like uh, my son was very fond of uh, making cars, very small, small cars. But he was not a material who could track IIT. So uh, my husband used to be after him, like IIT crack karna hai, pressure me rehna hai. So that was something like which made us really think about it, whether it was really worth it or not. Uh, we found that one of his uh, friends committed suicide because of the pressure of the uh, parents. So that really hurt us. You know, that trigger us, uh, when we saw this, there were three incidents, which I'll tell you. And which was very shocking for us, then we decided, let us do something for the kid. The three friends, one was my son, another is these two friends. One was, he was getting 92%, 93% marks. And their parents were after their life, that they need to be 98 plus. And one day what happened, that before the examination, you know, this very sad story, he committed suicide. You know, the kind of pressure they have from the parents, that is the one trigger point which we got to write this book. Second was one of his best friend who was the topper in college, in the school. To the extent all the tuition centers like Resonance and IIT and blah blah blah, they used to take their photograph and put that this gentleman is coached by us, he got 98%. One day, you know, his, his parents were keen that he should go to the IIT and I'm sure he would have grabbed the IIT. One day he met us and said, uncle, I want to become a chef. Parents were really putting on pressure on him to uh, go for IIT and uh, like really work towards it. So when he said, and I want to become a chef? Definitely, because he was a top. So when he said, I want to become a chef, you talk to my father. You know, you can understand the kind of trauma of their parents, you know. But finally, their parents had agreed and now he has done his hotel management and he became work in the Taj Hotels. And now in Navi Mumbai, he is running his own shop, you know, very big shop, he is running that. So, that was the example number two. As we told you, this uh, trigger point was happened to our children's education system when they were making career choices. Kar rahe the so, uh, my son wanted to be do engineering, mechanical engineering का उसको बहुत शौक है. Was like he's after cars. तो उसी के साथ के और बच्चों को जो देखा हमने कि uh, एक बच्चा जो बिल्कुल IIT topper के उसमें आ सकता था, but uh, he was he wanted to be a chef. बिल्कुल उसका diverse हो था जो parental pressure में he was so much in despair या frustrated था कि जिसकी वजह से हमें लगा कि शायद it was not a good thing to pressurize our children. हम लोग खुद अपने बेटे के पीछे थे कि वो IIT के लिए practice करे, IIT crack करने की कोशिश करे. But we knew in our own self कि वो possible नहीं है उसके साथ. But we were constantly putting pressure on him, just like any other parent would. So this was something जो trigger करा इस book के लिए हमारे. And being in the profession of you know uh, 
serving in HR human resource, people keep coming for the jobs, right? And I realize that, you know, the people who are creating wonder, they are not the high scorers. And the kind of pressure we get, as a parent, I understand how much pressure I have given to my child. I have seen in today's generation, the school people, they always tell that you need to score high, our school is best. If you get admitted our, in our school, he'll get 90% mark. Plus our coaching centers, all tuition centers, they also pressurize children to get more and more marks. Plus the expectation of parents are also very high. But we do not understand our kid because every kid is a different kind of a kid, you know. So that is the reason we thought that we need to educate this mass level. Education is not to score only high number. That is a one part of life. And this triggers us to teach students, teachers as well as parents also, that your child is unique. Please find out the best in him rather than pushing him for the score. So we are not against the score, never. But we always believe that if a person is getting 70% mark, 75% mark, he is brilliant chap. The only thing child. is, it is not you that need to a... identify the best quality of your child. Yes. Because you see, in India now, there is not job restricted to engineers and doctors. There are a lot of fields which are coming. News have come up. And money is, if you want to earn more money, you should have a talent. You know, that is the reason you see a lot of singers, players, RJ, this, that. Now people are coming up. So we thought that, this is a very important topic. Every year you see people are committing suicide, people are not getting the right jobs, people are frustrated, they are doing a lot of repeated, you know, the 12th class repetition, 10th class repetition, they want to compete. So remove the comparison from their life, teach them as a good human being and find out the ways and means for him rather than chasing only one way and means for him. That is the trigger point we have written this book.